chemical properties of cycloalkanes. The cycloalkanes show similarity to alkanes to the fact that all the carbon atoms in these compounds are sp3 hybridized forming only carbon carbon and carbon hydrogen sigma bonds but all the cycloalkanes are not equally stable and unreactive only cycloalkanes from cyclopentane onwards shows a high degree of stability and are quite unreactive as such they are not attacked by chemical reagents like strong acids strong alkalis common oxidizing agent KMnO4 and powerful reducing agent LiAlH4. However, like alkenes, they undergo free radical substitution reaction. On the other hand, due to high angle of strain, the cyclopropane, cyclobutane are more reactive than alkenes but less reactive than alkenes. Cyclopropane and cyclobutane rings are not very stable and have a tendency to undergo ring cleavage, forming addition products. Thus, they resemble alkenes in undergoing addition reactions. However, they are much less reactive than alkenes. Some of the important chemical reactions of cycloalkenes are first, free radical substitution reaction. Cycloalkene undergo free radical substitution reaction with halogen at 525 to 575 Kelvin in the dark or at room temperature in presence of light. For example, cyclopropane uh, when react with chlorine in presence of light at 298 Kelvin gives chlorocyclopropane. Secondly, addition reaction. Like alkenes, cyclopropane undergo addition reaction. However, unlike alkenes, cyclopropane does not add ozone and also does not undergo hydroxylation with aqueous KMnO4 solution. Cyclobutane on the other hand is less reactive than cyclopropane and hence does not undergo addition reactions under ordinary conditions. However, on hydrogenation at high temperature, it gives N butane. For example, cyclobutane plus hydrogen at the temperature 393 Kelvin in presence of nickel gives you N butane. From the above discussion, it is evident that cyclopropane is the most reactive of all the cycloalkenes and undergo many addition reactions through ring cleavage. Cyclobutane is less reactive than cyclopropane and undergoes only addition of hydrogen while rest of the cycloalkenes are unreactive and do not form addition products. Instead, like alkanes, they yield substitution products. Now, relative stabilities of cycloalkenes. Bear strayer theory. The relative stabilities of different cycloalkenes can be explained on the basis of their angle of strain, which was introduced by Bayer. He explained the difference in the reactivities of the different cycloalkenes on the basis of his bear strain theory put forward in 1835. The main points of this theory are In cycloalkenes, each carbon atom is sp3 hybrid. Therefore, it should be bonded to four other carbon atoms and an angle between any pair of adjacent bonds should be 109.5 degree. Cycloalkanes, due to their cyclic structure, are planar in nature. The bond angle between adjacent carbon atoms in the ring are no longer equal to normal tetrahedral angle that is 109.5 degree. The deviation of the angle varies with the size of ring. Third, any deviation or distortion from the normal tetrahedral angle causes strain in the ring, which is known as the angle of strain. Fourth, the angle, the greater the deviation from the normal tetrahedral angle during the formation of a ring, <coughs> greater will be angle of strain and hence greater the reactivity of cycloalkane. Fifth, the ease of formation of cycloalkane is directly related to stability of the ring. Sixth, the more the stability of cycloalkane, the more easily it is formed.
Now, evidence is in favor of Bayer's strain theory. The following facts favor the Bayer strain theory. First, reactivity of double bond in alkenes. According to Bayer's strain theory, double bond is treated as two-membered ring structure having bond angle 0 degree. So, the angle of strain in alkenes is 54 degree and 44 minutes. As alkenes have very high angle of strain, hence it proves the unstability and reactivity of alkenes. Second, reactivity of cyclopropane and cyclobutane. Both cyclopropane and cyclobutane have high value of angle of strain. That is, for cyclopropane, it is 24 degree and 44 minutes, while for cyclobutane, it is 9 degree and 44 minutes. It also have high value of heat of combustion, so both cyclopropane and cyclobutane are unstable and reactive. Now, limitations of Bayer strain theory. The Bayer strain theory cannot explain the following facts. First, stability of cyclohexane and higher membered ring. According to Bayer strain theory, cyclohexane and higher membered rings have high angle of strain. So, they should be unstable as per Bayer strain theory, but cyclohexane and higher member rings are stable. Hence, Bayer strain theory cannot explain the stability of cyclohexane and higher member rings. Secondly, occurrence of dehydrohalogenation of alkyl halide and dehydration of alcohol. As the both dehydrohalogenation of alkyl halide and dehydration of alcohol give alkenes. Further, as per Bayer strain theory, the double is treated as the two member ring structure having bone angle 0 degree. So, the angle of strain in alkene is 54 degree 44 minute. As alkenes have, have very high angle of strain, so alkene should be unstable. Hence, Bayer strain theory cannot explain the occurrence of both dehydrohalogenation of alkyl halide and dehydration of alcohol into alkenes. Next, 